Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys how to install Science Signage in Mod 10 Jelly Bean, which is a Jelly Bean ROM, I mean, on your uh, Droid Incredible 2. As you can see right now, I'm running on stock because I unrooted it earlier. So that's why this looks stock. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is if you just power off your phone to reboot into uh, the bootloader, make sure you go to settings, you go to power, and you uncheck fast boot then go power off <clears throat> this shouldn't take too long now once this is powered off press and hold volume down and power and you will get into the bootloader which as you see mine says unlocked um, it's already highlighted on fastboot wait for it to check then press power as you see it says fast boot up there so grab your USB cable well first you want to make sure you have the ROM on your SD card so actually let's go back to the bootloader um, let's put the phone down the ROM I'll put a link in the description to the site it is a Cyanogen Mod 10 Jelly Bean based ROM once you just click the download link for build 2 right here um, it'll bring you over to this dev host site as you see this was released today so then just click this little download button right here and that's it once it's downloaded we'll go back Jordan Incredible 2 and it'll be um, CM10 Global I don't know if you guys can see that or not there we go um, CM10 Global VVAL which is a Jordan Incredible 2's uh, codename thing from whoever made it up um, what you're going to want to do is right click on the uh, zip and you're going to want to go to extract it. It doesn't matter where you extract it. As you see I extracted it to the folder where it has the same name as a zip and there's a boot image. You're going to want to copy this boot image into your Android tools folder where it has ADB and fastboot. You see I have the boot image right there. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up a command so if I go back, um, just press and hold shift and then right click. Then there, there will be open command window here and that's it. You see I already had a command window open from when I flashed my recovery. I'll exit out of that. So what you're going to want to do in this window, let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. What you're going to want to do in this window is type, sorry the phone's in my way fast boot flash boot boot dot img and you're just going to want to leave that for a minute what you're going to want to do first is go back to your phone <coughs> sorry I'm losing my voice a little bit you're going to want to go back to your phone Let's see if I can get a focus on the phone itself it's trying to focus on the background so I'm trying to fix it um, but you're going to want to use the volume down button to go to recovery and then press power. Let it boot into your recovery. I have Clockwork Mod Recovery 6.01, I think, 6.1, 6.01, something like that. I actually just, just flashed it. Um, yeah, 6.01. I was going to get the touch version, but they said that this one was more complete, so I decided to just go with this one. Okay, so let me zoom in a little bit actually. What you're going to want to do first is go to Wipe Data Factory Set, hit Power, go to Yes. Make sure you have the ROM and the G apps on your uh, phone, I mean, you mean your SD card, before you start this. Because if you don't, <laughs> you're out of luck. Um, I'm, I'm joking. But it's just easier if you do. That way you don't have to ADB push them to your SD card manually. And then we're going to go to wipe cache partition. We're going to go to yes. Should not take too long. Now we're going to go to advanced. And we are going to go to wipe Dalvik cache. We're going to go to yes. We're going to go back. Mount and storage. We are going to go to format system. And we are going to go to yes. Formatting system. Shouldn't take too long. Alright, and once that's done, we're going to go back. I'm using the power button to select, by the way, and the volume rockers to choose, in case you didn't know. 
Um, we're going to go to install zip, choose zip, and we're going to find the CM10. Let me get off of this. Can you see it? CM10 global vval.zip. And we are going to install that. You see, it's installing the update. Psycho RS. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. This has Beats Audio, which is pretty cool because not most AOSP ROMs come with uh, Beats Audio. <coughs> I mean, you can get the Beats Audio Zip and install it through recovery and stuff, but it's kind of cool that this comes, you know, built in. I don't know why this says CM10 Global, but the Vivo, V I V O, without the W, is the GSM Incredible S. Um, that's like, it's the same exact one as this, but it's a GSM version. The Vivo with the W is the Verizon version, which is CDMA. I mean, it's also GSM too, but it's kind of funny that they include Global in their uh, name. All right, and that is done. See, it says install from SD card complete. We're gonna go back, and we are going to install the G apps for Jelly Bean. The latest ones for Jelly Bean are the uh, 726 ones. There. I just clicked yes to install it. These are the latest G apps for Jelly Bean. So you don't want to install the ICS ones. Huh? Just make sure you don't do that because this is a Jelly Bean based ROM. So. And it should be almost complete. So I'm mounting the system. I, I like how this new recovery looks too, by the way. It looks more clean than the other Cockroach mods. Now we're going to go back. And you can either power off your phone now and press and hold volume down and power to reboot back into your boot loader. But what I'm going to do, sorry, get this back to focus. But what I'm going to do is press power on the reboot system now. And immediately after I press power, I'm going to press volume down. So power, now volume down. And it should, there we go. And you see it brings up your boot loader. So since we're gonna wait for us to check for the uh, file again, um, now we're since we're already on fast boot, we're gonna press power, fast boot right there. Plug in our USB cable, and it says fast boot USB. Now we're gonna put our phone down, and we are gonna go back to our command prompt where we already typed this in, which is fast boot flash boot boot .img. Just press enter. It says sending boot, writing boot, and done. That's it. We already we flashed the boot image right after we flashed the ROM. Now we are just going to go to reboot. Sorry. We're going to go to reboot and press power. You can also unplug your USB cable too. Oh, sorry. I try to... Arrow Evans, signage of my 10 build. I tried his like a little bit back though, so I mean it wasn't stable. But they said everything is working in this. Which I was reading through the thread and everything wasn't working, but he fixed a lot of the stuff though. And that is awesome. It has the new signage in my 10 boot animation too, so. This ROM is pretty awesome. I mean, if it has everything working like they say it does. Then I'm I'm looking forward to this is wrong. This is going to take a few minutes to boot up. They say three to four, so I will be back when this is done booting up. All right, guys, and we are booted up now. The first thing you were going to see is unfortunately the pro the process for Android phone has stopped. Just press OK. It'll go. Um. We are English for United States. I'm going to hit start. It says just a sec. Sorry, maybe you guys can see us a little bit better now. Um. It is showing no service. Just kind of wanted to point that out there. See the little triangle up there, right there next to the. Well, 
trying to get it to focus. But you see the little triangle up there next to the battery. There are no bars in it. And that means that there's no service. And I know I have service. You see it says no internet connection. For this to focus. Okay, you're killing me, phone. So, we're going to go to not now. Not now, and it's going to skip all of this. I am Eastern. I am Eastern time. Um, it is 6.02, yes. I'm just going to skip this. Skip that next and finished and whoa huh I don't even know what that was um let's jump right into settings though cause this is Cyanogen Mod 10 Jelly Bean bam whoa 4.1.2 actually nice they even updated it to the latest nice job to them to the developers see this build dates for October 11th that may be for build one though and he never changed that so I'm gonna let that slide let's see if we can get the mobile network set up though that enabled network mo yeah see it says GSM I want CDMA with Evdu right yes I believe so and we are going to see if service comes in so, while searching for network operators I think we may have to reboot I'll just select airplane mode actually see if we can get some signal in here so I'm not sure about for the signal like are we supposed to choose the network mode or no should I go auto all right, let me do a reboot, and this is just my install video, so I'll be back with a review, and I'll show you guys if the the data has come in, you know, the phone and stuff. So, I'll do a reboot now, but I will also be doing a full review on this as well. So, be sure to look forward to that. And it's this is the reboot menu, so I'm just gonna go to reboot. And I will be back with my full review at a today. Actually, I'm gonna be just doing it today. That way, I can show you guys if the uh, data and stuff, you know, came in and stuff like that. So look for my full review of the Cyanogen Mod 10 ROM on the HTC Droid Incredible 2 later today.